Hello, my name is Willie Hall, Assistant Chief of the Training Division for the City of Durham Fire Department. The video you're about to watch is a demonstration of our physical agility test. Each applicant must successfully pass this agility test in order to be considered for hire with the City of Durham Fire Department. Each phase of the test must be completed successfully. The first step is the dry hose advancement. When you reach down to pick up the hose, that's when the time starts. You will advance 150 feet of pre-connected inch and three-quarter dry hose. At the end of the 150 feet, you will drop the hose and move on to the next section. The second step is the charged hose deployment. Much like the first task, you will pick up a charged section of hose and advance 100 feet to the cone on the ground. When you reach that destination, you may drop the hose. Next, you'll perform a ladder removal carry. You'll remove a 24-foot aluminum extension ladder from the hooks, carry the ladder 54 feet around a diamond course, and replace the ladder onto the hooks. The next phase is the ladder raise. You will raise a 24-foot ladder to the top and then lower it back down to its resting point. After the ladder raise, you will move to the victim removal, where you will drag a 165-pound dummy 26 feet around two cones. There are many methods of doing this, but the most common is to grab the webbing and drag it while backing up. Remember not to use your back, but to use your legs when lifting. Now you move on to the roof ventilation task. You will grab a vent saw, climb a ladder, set the saw onto the roof, then completely step off the ladder onto the roof. Grab the saw and then climb back down the ladder. The next task is the Kaiser Force Machine, which simulates chopping with an axe. You'll straddle the side, then strike it with the hammer or mallet until you move the slide five feet to the other end. From there, you'll move to the simulated rafter attic crawl. You can crawl on hands and knees or crab walk across it, but you must stay on top edges of the rafters. Then you will move to the other side of the drill tower, pick up a bundled section of hose, and carry this 50-pound bundle to the fourth floor. Once there, you will lay the hose on the floor, move into the small room of the tower, and crawl around the cones in the room. You will leave the room, grab the hose bundle, and proceed back down the steps to the ground level and replace the hose there. Next, you will pick up the simulated air bottles or air bottles and go back up the stairs to the third floor landing. Once there, drop the bottles, go into the room, stand in the marked square on the ground, and raise a section of two and a half inch hose 100 feet to the window. An assessor will let you know when you've successfully lifted the hose and will ask you to lower it back down to the ground level. Once you're through with that, you will then retrieve the air bottles and return to ground level. As you cross the threshold of the door, your time will stop. Remember that your time is important as you complete the test. In case we have a tie, this would be considered in determining who would move forward in the process. Remember, firefighters move with a purpose and hustle. So, good luck, give it your best.